Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. I know it has been quite, quite, quite some time since I made a video, and this is not the way that I wanted to start off the new year, but on Christmas Eve, I left work an hour into my shift because I felt super, super sick and spent Christmas Day and the next two weeks in bed with COVID. It hit my house, well, my house is just me, but it hit me and it hit me really hard and it was really, really horrible. And whatever your stance is on vaccines is your business. I'm fully vaccinated. I did get sick, but I was not in the hospital, knock on wood. But anyway, this is not a sad video. This is a very happy video. This is a video that I wanted to share on New Year's Day, but unfortunately, I was down for the count. But luckily, all of my incredible YouTube friends and YouTube community joined forces. And if you guys, I'm sure, have already seen, I created a low buy collab for the first two months of 2022. And I picked, listen, so I want to say, I want to start off by saying, I reached out to every YouTuber that I personally watch on YouTube, who I know are passionate about wax just like I am, about a potential low buy. So essentially, without getting into the super nitty gritty, because I'm sure you've heard it a hundred times by now, we have a budget of $100 a month for January and $100 for February. We can buy it whatever we want, whatever wax we want, whether it's a pre-order, a ready to ship, anything like that. That's your budget for the month, which can be hard. I definitely almost went over budget this month. But anyway, so once you do that, I created theme weeks. So every single week, we take our stash and we shop our stash based on the theme that I created for that week. So I have, I think, 10 themes for the two, week, for the two months of January and February. And the first week of January... Unfortunately, I was super sick, but I did not lose my taste and I did not lose my sense of smell. Thank goodness I didn't lose those. So I actually do have my basket of empties for that week, and I did pull my basket for this week. So how this week for me is going to go is I'm going to talk about everything that I used up during the first week, and I'm going to show you my basket for what I picked for this week. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I have on my phone the participants in this low buy collab. Now I do want to mention these are the original participants in the low buy collab. I have seen so many of you jumping on board with this collab and I'm super excited. It is an awesome way to shop our stash, start the new year off by saving some money. I know I have some trips coming up this year that I really and I want to save up some money for. And I have so much incredible wax in my collection that I know I want to use. And I'm sitting on it for what? Because I like the way that it smells? Great. I'm sitting on it. Why am I not melting it? So this is mainly the reason why I created this. And plus, some weeks are kind of challenging picking the wax, but that's what's fun. And some are super easy. This week, I think, is super, super easy. But anyway, the original... Um, members are myself, hello, I'm Drew, welcome to my channel, Angela, Casey, Catherine King, Charity, Danny, Etta, Emily, Jessica D, Canada Kim, Lexi, Lori Brown, and Michaela. And since then, I know just Jenny joined in, Nat and Jet, Nat, is it Nat and Jack? Nat and Nat, Nat, Nat and Jack, I think. She joined in. I'm seeing so many YouTubers join in on this collab, which makes me super, super happy. But anyway, my first week, I decided to call it Feeling the Blues because Christmas is over, New Year's is over. I spent both in bed. But anyway, and you just feel the blues, you know? The celebrations are over, the decorations come down, and it's just you're just left feeling a little blue. So my challenge for that week was melt blue wax. 
it was definitely challenging. I know some people, charity, <laughs> struggled a little bit finding some blue wax or even finding scents like she's a super, super bakery person. So a lot of blue wax, be besides blueberry, is more fresh and clean. So it is really interesting to see how people are taking the challenges. And some weeks are easier, some weeks are harder. Anyway, I found it to be a pretty easy week, but I will say by like Thursday, I'm like, I'm tired of melting blue wax. Like, but why? Because, you know, there's so many different scents. It's not like I'm melting the same scent, just the same color, but I was definitely over melting the blue wax. And let me tell you, I went through quite a bit of blue wax. So the first thing that I finished was a scoopable from Zape in Blueberry Muffin. Now, I want to preface this by saying, these scoops are definitely an interesting texture. I love Zape. I love Ashley. I love the the company, the aesthetic, everything. Her scoops are very strange. They're a very like Vaseline style of like scoop. And this blueberry muffin like was super super discolored. It was kind of green, even though I know it was blue when I first got it. So it definitely was. But it like crystallized and turned colors, and I was like, that's super strange. So I definitely wanted to use it up. But this scent is one of the most authentic blueberry muffins that I have ever smelled. I love, love, love this fragrance. Oh, whenever I put it in my warmers, I just smelled, it just smelled like blueberry muffins straight from the oven. Whenever you peel the paper off and you get the crumbly cake, oh, it was so, so good. I loved it. I finished a scent shot from Candles by Victoria in What Goes Around Comes Around, which is the dupe for Karma from Lush, which is like a patchouli orange. I did half of a scent shot in my bathroom, and my bathroom is like all the way down my apartment. I was in bed. This half scent shot I could smell in bed versus everything that I have melting around me in my main space. I'm like, that's crazy how strong this is. Candles by Victoria, you can never go wrong. Super strong, super, super long lasting. And um, like I said, I did half a scent shot in my bathroom two different days and it filled up the entire bathroom. This one was kind of interesting because I didn't realize it was, I didn't think it would be blue, but this is from the Melted Mousse. It's caramel apple, fried ice cream, and what the carb. This was really, really nice. It definitely gave me like Cider Lane vibes, but almost like a Cider Lane donut because it had that super super bready yeasty note in the end so it was sort of like i said like a caramel apple cider lane donut it was it was really really yummy and then a scoop from l3 that i did not finish was rainstorm and i pulled this out and it's actually kind of funny because when i pulled it it actually rained this week and i was like this is perfect so i popped this in my bathroom it smells truly like a rainstorm. It's different. I feel like I could only melt this when it's raining though because the scent reminds me of rain. It smells like that sweet, you know whenever, especially when it's warmer out and it rains, after it rains you go outside and the air feels heavier and it smells wet. Like how to describe smelling wet? But it does. It smells wet and it's crazy how it smells like that, but it really does, and it lasted such a long time in the scoop, but I did not finish it. This is going to go back in my collection. It was the only thing I did not finish from my basket. I finished two of these like little wave bars from a pharmacist's daughter in Rain Man. This was Patchouli Rain, shaving a haircut, absolutely no throw, and yes, this was, I had COVID, but I had my sense of smell, but still can't smell her stuff. Um, I finished two, where's the other one, two muffins in Don't Kale My Zen Vibe from Rose Girls. This was grass, cannabis flower, coastal kale, and zen. Mm -mm. I, it, I don't know what it is. I'm just, it smells like a salad. I'm not a fan of her kale, uh, coastal kale. I do have it in mini melters. I figure trying it in a blend first. I do not know, but coastal kale is not a vibe for me. I'm, I'm like hitting all the like nose first. This was a puppy pack from L3 in Kiwi, Midnight Blue Citrus, and Pink Sands. These were, this was the oddest puppy pack. It was the tiniest little shapes I've seen in my life. And 
I got no throw from it. It smells good in the bag. It smells like Midnight Blue Citrus for sure, but maybe like a little bit extra fruity from the kiwi. Yeah, I mean, no throw whenever I popped it in my warmers. This was, I got this in June, so I don't know if it was just too old or what. I finished from Destination Wax Blueberry Pumpkin Patch. This is delish. Right blueberries and pumpkin with a bit of bakery spice. It's the Bath and Body Works type. I really like this. It's so cool how like the creaminess and the spiciness of the pumpkin mixes with the fruitiness of the blueberry. I was really impressed with this one, but I love all of Destination Wax. Salt Mountain Melts. I'm not a fan of this vendor. Um, just, I don't like her style. I don't like that she did a pre-order that was only open for a very short amount of time, like what, two hours, and then took eight weeks, and then whenever she did a ready to ship after, it was like none of the scents were offered. So like, oh, I really like this. I want to buy it in a bigger size. Well, chances are you're probably not ever going to get it again, because she doesn't like offer things. I don't know, and her scent and her pre-orders are like seven cents. Why does it take you eight weeks? It, it was very strange. Anyway, this is Snow Globe. This was spearmint, icy peppermint, and buttermints. I also did not care for the scent. It just smelled like a big stick of spearmint gum. It was strong though. I cut this into nine pieces. I will give Salt Mountain that. Anything that I've melted from Salt Mountain has good throw. I'm just not a fan of the vendor. Another not fan of vendor, uh, Pharmacist Daughter, Thunderstorm, Crisp Air, Amber, Sage, Bergamot, Leather. Pop this in my uh, bathroom. No throw. The Melted Mousse. This is super interesting. Pumpkin Pecan Waffles and Vanilla Bean Noel. It was a blue souffle, but then whenever I popped it out, it was layered orange and white. I didn't know that, but it was blue whenever I saw the top of it, and it smelled amazing. It just smells like pumpkin pecan waffles just more creamy it's funny i was talking to my friend about this i find that like so many vendors just blend things with vanilla bean noel or sugar cookie or like sugar milk or i don't know sweet and creamy like how many different like vanilla you're only adding vanilla and it just... next we have roasted coffee bean ice cream from rose girls this was in the sampler this i put it was two little chunks and i did one in each of my tea light warmers to try to get a throw. I didn't get much of a throw, but it was um just like a very very roasty coffee. Like when it says roasted coffee bean, it definitely was a very 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 roasted coffee. It kind of reminded me of remember Gloria Jean's coffee. It kind of reminded me of going into a Gloria Jean's. Next, I did late night cookie therapy Hufflepuff. This was that chunky bunt from L3 when she did the Hufflepuff sampler. This was nice. It was like a blueberry muffin type of scent. I did this, I think, the same day that I did the blueberry muffin scoop from Zape in like the evening time. It was nice. I did puppy pack again from L3. Blueberries and cream white elephant exchange. Do you guys also feel like L3, like, I just do not get performance. Like, I pop it in my warmer, I smell it for five minutes, and then I don't smell it at all. I don't know. I'm just so not impressed with L3, and I think this, like, this whole low buy, like, I'm going to work through my L3 stash, because I'm just not, I've just had really, really bad luck with her stuff. This, though, I had good luck with, so it's like hit or miss. This was a bougie bar, which were like those long sticks in Beach Nights, and it's just her Beach Nights, toasted marshmallow, sea breeze, and s'mores. I popped one little brick piece in each of my warmers, and this is, I think, the day that I went grocery shopping, and I was, oh my god, it was miserable. I was, like, holding onto the cart. I, like, could not even walk. It was, I was so out of breath, and anyway... This scent, like, I came home and I was like, wow, this is actually really, really strong. But, again, like, I think that was it. And then I stopped smelling it. Oh, I finished a, this was in a big kahuna box from Rose Girls. It was like a flower shape in Down by the River. Citrus, bergamot, ozone, woods, and amber. I really, really liked this. It was very aquatic, like an aquatic men's cologne with a burst of citrus. Like, you get that real citrus scent right at the end. I really, really liked that. One I did not like, Blue Spruce from Destination Wax. Colorado Blue Spruce and Cedarwood. It's just, I don't like Blue Spruce. Mm -mm. 
it, it kind of smells urine-y, like cat urine to me. But that's how spruce smells to me from anybody, not Destination Wax. So, was excited to use that up. And then the last thing that I finished from my blue basket were these two little gingerbreads from Zape in the scent Nutcracker. Smoky winter air, fresh snow, and cinnamon spiced cider. I think this was good. I don't really remember it. Mm, smoky winter air, fresh snow. It's like, it definitely smells like an apple cider. I don't really, really remember it. I like the way that it smelled, but I don't think it was super, super strong. So, that was my blue basket and everything that I melted. I did want to get go through that pretty quickly and move on to this week. So, this week, which started January 8th? No, yesterday. It started yesterday, which was the 9th. Yes, the 9th. So it's the 9th, which was yesterday, Sunday. Today's Monday, the 10th. And it's this entire week. It's scoops and clams. I know we all have so many clam shells and so many scoops that just sit in our collection that we want to work through. So I grabbed my basket, as I almost dropped one, of clams and scoops. I didn't do a ton of scoops just because I have an insanely disgusting amount of Scentsy clams. And they're starting to get super, super wet, and they're just a couple years old, and I'm like, I need to use up my clams of Scentsy. I pulled a basket of all Scentsy clams, and I pulled two L3 scoops, because I'm going to do the L3 scoops in my bathroom this week, alternate every other day these two scents, and then I'm going to do my Scentsy Clams. I pulled two of each scent, except one. I did one of each because I like the combo. And I have eight warmers in my main space, 16 cubes, two cubes in every warmer. I'll go through two bars a day. If the scent's light, I'll, you know, change it halfway through the day. But the first thing I want to show are my scoops. The first one I have is a Bergamot Waters and Sea Kelp. I really love this. Bergamot Waters is such a good candle from Bath & Body Works. It's like a really masculine, super aquatic, but it's warm because Bergamot's a more warm citrus. Mixed with the sea kelp is really, really green and fresh. And I like deep, 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 deep cleaned my bathroom before I went to, like the night before I went to work. Um, I went back to work on Thursday, so like Wednesday night. And I'm like, it's super clean, super fresh in there now. I bleached it, light salt, like, totally clean my bathroom. And I'm like, I want some super fresh scents in there this week. So I pulled that. And then I also pulled watermelon, cucumber, salty sea air, and green clover and aloe. I actually have it going in now. So good. It's like, the watermelon isn't Jolly Rancher watermelon. It's super fresh. And it's super clean watery the green clover and aloe is a little bit sweet like i feel like this would be an amazing drink in the summer like this scent so good super excited to go through this and the colors are so fun like they're such bathroom colors all right so let's move on to scentsy clams i'm actually working on these two in my main space right now bonfire beach i really like this scent it's kind of like beach nights. It smells like marshmallow fireside with a hint of salty sea air. So I pulled two clams of that. I pulled two clams of pink sugarberry mint. This was the scent of the month. I think it was like July. I like it. It's a definite like sweet pink berry scent. One of my favorite scents from Scentsy, aloe water and cucumber. I love this. Sweet. It has a hint of pineapple, so it's a little bit fruity delicious a peeling apple this is another scent of the month this is also like really crisp clean apple with a hint of pear yeah as you can tell even from my background i'm over winter and i'm over winter scents so you will not find winter scents in this basket palm trees and ocean breeze this is like watery aquatic really sweet it's yummy all these scents like i said I find that Scentsy Spring and Summer is not really that great, like not really my type of scents. So, and I have so many of them, I just want to use them up. Do we or don't we? I've never melted this, but I have a ton in my stash because I just love the color and I love the way that it smells. It's, um, it's cucumber 
or no, it's cantaloupe and like dewy greens. It's really yummy. Magnolia Linen, this was new last spring and summer catalog, and people really liked it, so I picked it up. It's nice, it's definitely just like a really fresh laundry scent. Sugared Strawberry, two cubes of, see, two bars, again, like Sugared Strawberry, like this is like at least $12, plus shipping and tax, and it's such a basic strawberry that any vendor has this. And like, it's actually even starting to like get low because it's been sitting for a while. Just not impressed. <clears throat> Speaking of not impressed, banana berry. <clears throat> this is strawberry and banana. And this is what it's supposed to look like. Stored right next to it. Look at this. Look how gross that is. It still smells the same. It just smells like bananas and strawberries, but like, look at that. So gross. I want to use it up. Nasty. The only one in my collection, here we go, that are two different scents. I'm obsessed with this mixture. I saw somebody on Instagram talk about it once, and I've been hooked ever since. It's pink cotton and cocoa lime. So since I have eight warmers, I'll do one cube of each in the same warmer throughout my apartment. I love this scent. It's like pink cotton's like fresh laundry with a little bit of fruitiness, where cocoa lime is coconut lime. The combo together... So yummy. Plumeria Peach, another scent of the month. I liked this. I mean, I like all these scents. It kind of has, like, a little bit too sweet for my liking, though. So, I just want to use it up. Mad for Melon. Look how fun and fruity I love. This is, like, cantaloupe, honeydew, all the melons. Spring Forward, this was a Bring Back My Bar last round, and it's interesting. It's like fresh spring flowers with cedar wood. Interesting. So I wanted to pop that in my warmer and melt that this week. Sweet Pea and Vanilla, two bars of this. This is nice. If you're familiar with Sweet Pea, it smells very similar, but the added vanilla just makes it a little bit more sophisticated. I like it a lot. My Wish, another one that I really like. It's like fig and marshmallow, and fig is such a good scent. I feel like people either love fig or hate it. I'm a person who really, really loves it. I'm putting these back as I go, so because I don't want to, I don't want a toppled mess. But anyway, and then last but not least, it's kind of sad that I'm melting these because I don't have this again. This is my last two cubes, and it's not in my club. Strawberry and Rock Melon. This scent was from the International Wax Collection in 2020, so I definitely need to use these up. They've been in my stash since. It smells so good. I think I'm off of work on Wednesday. I think I'll pop this in on Wednesday, so I enjoy it all day. It's like super fruity strawberry, and then Rock Melon is cantaloupe. Ugh, it's so so good and it's so juicy it literally smells like you could put a straw in it and melt it or and drink it but anyway that is my basket for this week i'm super excited to melt through it i'm super excited i am binge watching everybody's videos today if i do not comment i'm just trying to watch them and get caught up because i've been super behind back to work and I'm loving this community so much. Thank you all so much for inviting me almost into your homes with these collaborations. If you want to join in, definitely join in as one of my viewers. It's super fun. I will list everybody and their YouTube channel down below who's part of the collab. Definitely check them out. Subscribe to their channels too. It's such a fun time. I'm so glad everybody's having so much fun. I love that Lexi like dressed up in blue for the Blues collection. It's just been super, super, super fun to see everybody's videos. Thank you so much. It was like, I'm done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you're alerted every time I upload a video. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Make it a better world. I love you so much. Get vaccinated. Bye, guys.